Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can we perform the calculations of number of orders on the previous day and uh, the difference of orders between previous day and current day. So we did no overlapping of data sources. It's single data source, single table. And uh, within this table, we had dates, which uh, corresponding to which we did a calculation of number of orders and the previous day orders. So let's start with this number of orders is calculate simple calculate function with distinct count of number of order ids so those who are not aware of calculate function they can watch other two videos that we already have with the filters that can be imply, applied in uh, calculate uh, in, in those videos you will get the understanding of this function and then uh, you have number of orders previous day it's a simple time intelligence function which we have performed here. Um, so in filters now calculate function supports aggregated values as well. So you can use th that uh, approach as well. Here we have used a simple time intelligence function to get the previous date. And by doing that, we are getting these numbers. So it's a quick way of calculating the previous day numbers. And then difference is simple. What we did, number of orders minus number of orders previous day these two are measures we deducted this and we got the numbers here similarly you can calculate the percentage if you want to if you want to see the change over the last day what you have to do is change percentage over the last day you just have to calculate it the number of previous days so now this over this is what we are trying to achieve let's see how it goes Oh, everything went to zero. What, what happened? Let's see. Difference and we don't see percent. Oh, got it. So this is 13% up. This is 39% and down, 32% up. So that's how you can get the numbers in terms of percentages. And if you have a business team that you're sharing this data with, they'll get understanding how good or bad the business is going or what exactly they need to do to keep the color green for this particular column that you're providing this way they can make better decisions that's all for this video good luck don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot for watching